and reaction to the president's announcement announcement has been swift. And some people are supporting that move. Others are very angry. Peggy Bright talked to the founder of Kansas City's Transgender Institute. Caroline Gibbs is a counselor with thousands of transgender clients here at the Transgender Institute. She believes President Trump has gone too far. People will take their cue from him that it's okay to make scapegoats of a whole population of people. 1.3 million men and women are in the U.S. military. An estimated 1,300 to 6,600 are transgender. The RAND Corporation conducted a study for the Department of Defense just last year. RAND estimates that the cost for transgender-specific health care would be less than 1% of the Defense Department's $49 billion health care costs. Caroline Gibbs says a cancer diagnosis is way more expensive. That cost far outweighs what any transgender person would have to undergo going through transition. What's more, Caroline says, the community she served for 17 years has just begun making strides after years of discrimination. And I feel like that's going to happen again, and it's terrifying. Stephen. Caroline says the transgender community is already talking about protests and marches regarding the president's decision today. 